go back again with another video and today we are off about for a run and also a chat about Sunderland but look up there ahead that is the old Mount Oswald clubhouse and the 18th green it's all gone now closed down sold off for cash like most things do but I used to love going there when I was a kid only golf course I could afford to go to was Mount Oswald because yes it wasn't as expensive as most places and you can turn up on the day and go for a round but that's by the by it's gone it's history it's finished let's look forward to the future ba, 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 ba. right I'm going to show you where we can park for a run I've only been here once but I haven't actually been out for a run or a walk around this area so we'll see and hopefully we won't get lost but you can pull up here on the left hand side the old cock of the north pub used to be on the right hand side went there many a moon ago it was a nice a nice meal in there but that got closed down and sold off for real estate as well let's go let's find a way in here yes it's the low bernal woods low bernal woods never heard of it but we should go there because i know there's a parking space there let's have a quick look in we turn left here at the top where the cock of the north used to be low burn hall wood low burn hall wood apparently they've done it up nicely around here on this damp miserable day there we go a lot of dog walkers a lot of dogging going on down here dog walkers can't get parked oh you can't get parked cannot get parked look at all these people here going for walks around these woods small car park massive amount of people wanting to go for walks i'm gonna have to turn around and find somewhere else to park we'll have to go somewhere further afield i do think this is a lot of money being spent here a lot of money very nice car park indeed very good car park as the car parks go i'd say nine out of ten this loses the point because it's a little bit small but apart from that, spot on. Got parked eventually, just waiting to be explored. Let's have a look around Low Burnwell Woods. Let's go for a run, see what we can spot, see what we can see. Let's have a quick chat. It looks like they spent a lot of money down here, Low Burnwell Woods, doing these walks, these pathways. But you can see for miles and miles of views are absolutely amazing. Loads of stunning countryside. We'll head off the beaten trail and hopefully you know it's that time already let's get lost heading on down this peaceful part of the woods uneven ground gotta be careful with the ankles but yes Sunderland have made it to league one playoff finals again last season we got turned over by Lincoln this season I think we're playing an even harder team in Sheffield Wednesday Sheffield Wednesday are beatable they have lost games this season they have lost games in the last few games but they score a lot of goals so we've got to have our good defense out and hopefully dennis Serkin can come back into the fold on friday night already found a very nice dean down here lovely houses in the distance fence obviously you can't get over the barbed wire fence not going to even try to get the barbed wire fence but yes luke 09 isn't the option for me isn't the answer as centre back he did okay yesterday against the very average Markham side but against the sheffield wednesday team firing on all cylinders scoring loads of goals we need our defense to be on top form again i've never been down here before in my entire life it's always good to get somewhere new try out new experiences I have no idea at this moment in time where about I am. Been running for about 20 minutes. Hopefully, we're going to try what those woods see down there. See what's in these woods kicking about. But yes, so Sunderland, welcome Sheffield Wednesday to the stadium tonight. Now we'll be doing a preview in that game, probably bank holiday Monday, about five o'clock at night, six o'clock at night, when I'm getting about. Got somewhere special to go tomorrow, which I really loved, and I won a few races there in my time. <sighs> There's a gadget sitting down. A gadget sitting down. Up the steps we go. I'm gonna head this way. Yes. Some guy sitting down. Look at the distance as well. Oh. And a couple over there. Straw people. Whatever you want to call them. Very inventive indeed. Very inventive. Look at that down there. I have no idea. Is that the brownie? I'm not quite sure. Let's have a wander down. Let's see if we can get that way. Path leads this way. Or does it? 
end of the day. I can't be I can't be having fun off the edge of this like how far does this go down? I don't think anywhere down there to be honest. All the bluebells all over the place. Look at the bluebells. Thousands and thousands of bluebells. Absolutely marvellous. I think I think I'm gonna head off over that direction somewhere. If I'm get there, I'm sure if I was on that side of the brownie, if it's a brownie, if it is the brownie, I could have been running around that side maybe next time. Well, yes, yeah, so we have to give a bit of credit to Sunderland and the team. Alex and they has come into the, into the fold and the setup has basically made us a real strong unit in defence. You know, with 13 games unbeaten, 1 8, lost none, drawn 5. Absolutely fabulous record from Alex Neil, but can he take that kind of form and that kind of pressure in to the playoffs where I remember a couple of seasons ago we had Portsmouth in a similar situation. Portsmouth playing good football, playing well. We won one nil at home and we got the nil-nil draw away to get to the final. But can we do that again? Can we keep Sheffield Wednesday quiet at home? Welcome to Gary's Wood. Welcome to Gary's Wood. Ooh, Gary. Very nice. We're going this way. Heading this way. Somewhere different. Explore further. The Woodland Trust. Explore further. And this one says walking in Low Burn Hall. Walking in Low Burn Hall. That's where we've just been. But now I have no idea where I'm going. I'm going to well and truly get lost. As you cross over here, it's just a, a sea of bluebells. And if you can see them, absolutely, when he fell over there, an absolute sea of bluebells. Everywhere you go, there is bluebells. Absolutely amazing. I would love to have all these in my garden. But obviously, it's not, not right to dig them up and take them back to your back, back your garden. You've got to plant your own from the, the garden centre or whatever. But yes, we're going to head off this way. Well, actually, I might go and see what's the top of this bank. Why not, eh? I like a bit of a bank run. I'm hopefully going to purchase a GoPro at some point. Then you get better footage. And I would like to sort of do a lot more out and about videos out the summer when there's no football on and we'll explore different areas of the countryside well we've come to the farmer's field it's the public footpath that way and now we'll head back this way I've literally no idea where I'm going, no clue, but that's all the enjoyment. And I will be doing a video at some point of the summer, how, how to stay fit in your 50s. Well, should I go that way or that way? There's a fork in the road. Oh, I'm tempted. I'll go this way first. We'll go this way first. Yes, but it would be amazing if Alex Neil, you know, could turn Sheffield Wednesday over, which would be difficult. I know. Bannon might be injured. There's reports out there that he was injured yesterday, but Broadhead, Broadhead, never mind Sheffield Wednesdays. I absolutely feel for Broadhead. Kind of believe, you know, the other day during the week against Rotherham, he went off with a bit of a niggle. He started the game today, yesterday against Markham. Well, was that a wise choice to start Broadhead? That's, you know, it's the old scenario after the Lord Mayor show. Hindsight's a wonderful thing. But in hindsight, maybe he should have been on the bench to make sure he's ready for the playoffs because the chances are we were going to make the playoffs. And again, hindsight, MK Don smashed Plymouth. So it just proves that we we're going to make the playoffs. But now I just hold Broadhead. He has what? He's got, he's got Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Five days, four days to recover. Four days to recover from that injury. Do we risk him at home or do we get him prepared, ready for Monday away? But yes... Will he even be available for the rest of the season? Is that the last time we've seen Nathan Broadhead in a Sunderland shirt? I'd be absolutely gutted if it was the last time. And if it is, I want to be the first to wish Nathan Broadhead all the best in the future. I hope he recovers from his injury and maybe he's come back to Sunderland next season on loan yet again. The sea of bluebells. Absolute sea of bluebells. Beautiful. 
I tell you what, I'm 45 minutes into my run and I have no idea where I'm going. I think I'm lost again. Well, I think it's about that time I went back to the studio with Mad. Mad, over to you. Well, I think you've got something to say. A bit of humble pie, Mad's got a bit of humble pie. You've got something to say to you. Mad, don't forget, man, don't forget what we were talking about last night. Cheers, Duff lad. Hope he gets back safe and sound. So yes, Sunderland do welcome Sheffield Wednesday at the stadium night on Friday. And I will be doing a preview to that tomorrow night, hopefully, touch wood. But Nathan Broadhead, I mean, he's going to be a major concern for the weekend. I am absolutely gutted, absolutely gutted about Nathan Broadhead's injury. Hopefully, it wasn't his hamstring again, because if it's his hamstring again, he probably won't be seen for the rest of the season, where the playoffs should be seen anyway. And I want to wish Nathan Broadhead all the best. But he's got five days to recover. Can he make it back? Can they get the miracle sponge on him to get him back? But would you risk him in the whole match? Have we got enough firepower to beat Sheffield Wednesday? Sheffield Wednesday score for fun, but we defend really well. So what will the outcome be? I do hope Nathan Broadhead isn't out you know for the playoffs but if he if he is i do wish him all the best and hope he comes back and hey, he possibly might see him next season on loan yet again because he's wonderful he's a fantastic human being he's just so unlucky with injuries and it's just sunderland's luck we get him back on fire on form and this happens again probably over the summer he needs to go into some rehabilitation and try to get that problem solved probably 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 definitely but sheffield wednesday would be a difficult difficult game at, on Friday, just look at Sheffield Wednesday's form. I mean, they're not unbeatable. Simple as. We've unbeaten in 13 games. We've won eight, drawn five, lost none. Our defence is the key, but like, 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 like Terry says, daft lad, you know, Luke 09 isn't the answer in the centre of defence. We do need Serkin back. And news on the front is that Serkin could be back very soon. Could be back very soon. We need him back. Uh, maybe he's got the back three again with Danny Bard, right? And we do have, obviously, Serkin. For whatever reason... Alex Neal doesn't fancy Arby, Arby Jean-Pierre But form, Sheffield Wednesday won 4-1 yesterday. Beat Fleetwood 3-2, so they do ship goals in. They've got beat off Wickham though. Now there's the key one. Wickham beat Sheffield Wednesday at home. Sheffield Wednesday only beat Crew 1-0. They beat MK Dons 3-2. They drew against Bolton. They beat Sheffield Wednesday. They beat Cheltenham. You know, so they, they do have defeats in them. <clears throat> They did beat Cambridge 6-0, but they did get beat off Lincoln 3-1. <coughs> Excuse me. So it isn't, you know, all doom and gloom if we did lose Broadhead. As long as that defence stays sure and hopefully someone like, you know, someone like Stewart can get a goal. Stewart can get a goal. Someone said Stewart travelled home by himself last night or yesterday for whatever reason. That's a strange one. So, yes, it, it is very upsetting and sad that Broadhead has... It looks like it's going to be out, but you know it isn't. It isn't the end of the world. We could then circle them back and get the, that defence shield up. Remember, like I said, the Portsmouth match, we won one nil and we drew away and we got that through to the final. But what? Hello, 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 Terry. You, have you found your way out yet? No. Yes, 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 yes. I know, I know, man. I know. I'm going to do it now. Shut up. Right, get lost. Right, Terry, reminding me on, yes, apparently last night, apparently last night, I made a video and I went off the me rocker a bit. I did go on a bit of a tantrum, a bit of a, uh, I do have this, 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 this mad side where I do go off me rocker a little bit. And I never got an email. I never saw an email, never saw a notification. And I went on me WhatsApp and everybody was twisting on about how the seats are being taken and this, that and the other. And they were complaining. So I just put two and two together and I came up with ten. So yes, I do want to apologise for me little video last night when I went over the top and, and I was, you know, saying they were greedy. So I killed the, I do apologise, KLD, but I'm not apologising to Charlie Pants. Charlie's having pants in Donald Duck because they are greedy. They are greedy. I'm not going to change my mind on those two. Jury out with Sartori but KLD hope your touch wood's going to be okay but yes you can purchase a ticket for the semi-final on Friday and I finally got my email through and there's a link down below where you can keep your season ticket seat but I've already purchased other seats anyway so I'm not sitting in the same seat as I would normally sit because I got myself in a bit of a 
a bit of a muddle last night too. A bit, a bit of a muddle last night. So I've got me tickets anyway. I'm having the same stand behind the goal, just a little bit further down. Me, Rincey and Jonas will be there. And hopefully loads of fans will be there. Hopefully it'll be over 30,000 plus there on Friday night to cheer the lads on. But yeah, so I do apologise for my rant last night. It was uncalled for. And I will be on better behaviour. But yes, Metfin, Donald, you are greedy. I'm not apologising to you. See you later. We'll see you tomorrow for the preview. Oh, sometimes, sometimes I just... I just lose it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Much appreciated. <laughs> and give this video a like. If you've enjoyed the out and about videos, me and Daft Lad will be doing more of those over the summertime. And we'll get some more exciting special places. So again, take care. God bless. Enjoy your, enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your bank holiday Monday. We'll see you tomorrow at some point. See you later.